What's up, you guys? Well, hello. Come up here. Stop to my nose. So today, I'm basically going to show you guys how I got my latest wig on my head. Y'all like my nails? Okay, you guys. So basically, I'm just going to show you step by step what I actually use in my hair. I use to get my hair laid. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not a professional, okay? So... <laughs> So in here I have some conditioner, yes conditioner, not sure why because it grow my hair. I have Jamaican black castor oil, almond oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, all mixed up, and some peppermint drop. I'm gonna put this in my hair. Next thing I'm gonna do, take some rubbing alcohol. I got this from the dollar store, cotton bar, and I'm gonna just wipe around my hairline to get any grease or residue, whatever. Okay. The wig that I'm actually using today, it's a 360 lace frontal, so I can put it in a high ponytail. It is beautiful, okay? It's a little bit busted, rusted, whatever. As long as I get some water and some mousse, girl, bye. Next thing, ghost bowl glue. Got this off Amazon. It was $14.99. Then I got some popsicle sticks. I have this Conier blow dryer. Bam! So I'm gonna be using the cool setting. This is my sister blow dryer, okay? <laughs> Whatever she left at my house, it's mine now. Then I have my free spray from Got To Be Glue. It's empty, I need to get another. Then I got this white tube comb. So I think I'm just gonna place a tiny little bit on the back of my head and I'm only gonna use one layer because I don't have anything to waste, okay? Once it get clear on my head, I'm gonna start applying the wig. So I need to cut down a tiny bit of my forehead, okay? Because my forehead big. So I'm gonna put it right here, you guys. So yes, that's how much of my forehead I'm cutting off. So guys, as I said, this is how I do it. This might not work for you, okay? So I'm gonna zoom you guys out a bit. Take the blow dryer and just blow it on cool setting, okay? I'm gonna go ahead now and secure the back. I'm basically gonna use these little adjustable thingy magic in the back and attach them. And then I'm gonna put the comb in the back of my braid back here. I didn't bleach the knots or anything. Lately, I haven't been because when I do bleach my knots, girl, it be coming out orange and then I can't find my purple shampoo. So this is what I'm working with. I'm going to go ahead and place my lace forward onto where I put the glue. Then I use the opposite side of that, of that sticky magic. What? Of the, <laughs> the opposite side of the, um... Popsicle stick, duh, and kind of push it into the skin a bit. Okay, kind of drag it a little bit forward, kind of pull the hair back so I could use mousse to do my baby hair. I don't want this glue thingy magic to go on the little baby ears that is there. So, yeah, so this works for me for now. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to tie this down. I'm going to use this scarf to tie down that area of the um, thing that I just put the glue at. Mind you, I've had this scarf from year and 40. And you see how I did go ahead and basically cut off a piece of my forehead. And I'm going to wait a couple of minutes, like 10 minutes. Then I'm going to freeze spray the sides. Okay, you guys, so let me show you what it looks like after 10 minutes. After I scarf it down. Why do I say scarf? After a tight down, I didn't actually cut any baby ears at all. So right here needs to be um, free spray down and right here. I, I haven't cut the hair or anything, okay? I got a ugly ass nose for real, for real. So yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna push back these hair. I'm gonna spray it with the free spray. And basically just place it down. And I'm going to do the same to the next side and then just tie everything down. Let me get my scarf. So this is what I do, okay? And any one of y'all motherfuckers think y'all bad and bougie? Come in my comment section and say some shit. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay? I do appreciate it. So, 
yeah you guys so if you have any recommendations or anything like that it is greatly appreciated you know what i'm saying so um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off and i like to pull it down just in case i have any hair itching well <laughs> not this time how huh? next time now for my sideburns so what's right here that's what i'm basically going to use okay okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some mousse to get these curls pop in and put some baby hair down you know what i'm saying and i'll be right back okay you guys so let me zoom well slide back a bit so this is the finishing look my curls are beautiful you guys and they are full when I say full, dude, I mean full. And look at that brush just <sighs> gliding through, sis. Come through. I believe this is a 16-inch lace frontal wig. Uh-huh. So this is it, you guys. I got mousse on my hand. But yeah, take it in, ho. It's beautiful. Um, if you guys want me to do a review for this hair, basically stating how I take care of it, um, where did I purchase it from, and all of that stuff, leave a comment down in the description box. Now, I do put mousse in it like every two days. Um, but like during that day that I didn't put the mousse in, I normally just spritz it with some water and yeah, it just come back right to life. And basically like I've been wearing it for like two weeks or a week and a half. I've been loving it. Hey, I use my money to buy this. I won't lie, ho. But yeah, you guys, this is my curl pattern and it's fucking thick. I'm sorry for the bad word. I'll beat that shit out, but yeah. It's it's thick. And actually, I could put this in a ponytail also. So yeah, you guys, so this is how I install my frontal. Um... Basically, just let me know if you want me to do a full review on this wig, letting you guys know how it is, how is it holding up, and all of that stuff. I've never curled it, but if you want me to do that video and curl a piece of it or a half of it and wet it to show you how it come back to its natural form, I can do that. So give this video a like and comment down below, you guys, so let me know. If you don't like my videos, leave me a comment stating why also. If you want to give me a thumbs up, go ahead. Don't. Here. It's up to you, but yeah, you guys, so let me know down in the description box. Bye-bye, you guys.